right, hi guys. So we made it out of Dresden and uh, my parents' house and we're in Freiberg right now. And well, I just wanted to show you this freaking nice church that's here. And we're on our way to uh, Munich. We're not gonna make the full tour on one day because it's like eight hours. But we are uh, going some somewhere uh, Regensburg or something so it's still like four hours to go we're gonna have a break later on I um, have been cutting or I started cutting like the first vlog yesterday and it's I realized that I'm talking way too much and that the that the uh, vlog is gonna be way too long and this is why I am going to only um, turn on the camera and the microphone and everything when there's some interesting stuff going on. So yeah, Freiberg in uh, between Dresden and Chemnitz um, is a nice little ancient town that's worth a visit. Look, here's the old, the old walls, like the old city walls and everything. Nice city. Um, we are on our way to Chemnitz, which used to be called Karl Marx Stadt during the German Democratic Republic, like East Germany. You know, that's uh, socialist Germany, communist Germany, you know what I mean. And um, we just got a peek of the like the castle hill of Chemnitz and it just looked awesome and I hope we get another peak we should be able to it looked really nice like looking down here and which is like the uh, outer rim of the Erzgebirge Very scenic. So the um, Saxon accents um, in a hole and the Chemnitz or West Saxon accents in particular sound quite funny. Even to a Saxon myself. And the town we're coming to next really sounds funny in that accent because you would call it Fleha. Welcome to Chemnitz or how it used to be called Karl Marxstadt. This is like a, a classic socialist town. They have like wide streets and I think to the left here should be that huge Karl Marx head. I'm not sure if we're able to see it but well for like socialist brutalism Chemnitz is a very interesting town to go. I've been here a couple of times and yeah, I actually kind of like this place. I mean there are prettier uh, cities than that, but it has a lot of history. That is so sweet. Um, we're just passing another Vespa Yacht Club, a small one that's keeping up the traffic. You see it back there? That's so sweet. Oh, and there, there it's gone. Bye bye, Yachty. Okay, you guys must think like, I don't give a shit, but I always like, I always like meeting at another yacht club. Okay, that's it, up to Zwickau and then to the Vogtland, which is kind of like the border region for Saxony and Bavaria. So we're still trying to make it into Bavaria today. We are just passing Reichenbach im Vogtland, 
and this place looks like time has been standing still for the last hundred years. Man, oh man, this place looks like out of this time. smell it even smells like uh, somewhere in DDR times so it's actually a nice place to retire I would retire here Zwickau we had to make a little stop because Kathy's contact lenses didn't work and she had to like clean them and we're stopping next to this building and um, after I stopped I realized that this is like the police station where we stopped and there was this cop coming and he was really nice and looking at the license plate which is from Berlin and also looking like up and down on my Vespa and asking me is everything all, all right and everything so that was really nice of him man look at that I'm not even I'm not even able to do 40 here because this hill is so freaking steep oh my god <laughs> Jesus that poor Vespa and we're not even in the in the Alps yet <laughs> okay that's funny Alright, so we're getting close to our camping grounds. We've been trying to go to the camping spot in Weiden and when we came there it said that the camping is closed because of a like owner change. And now we made up this spot or we found the spot on this app Park for Night which is an excellent app for like camping travel by the way. And um, it led us to this place we called the guy and he said um, we're welcome but we have to know we're pretty much the only ones and it's like all the way in the woods and this is where we're going right now I think it's super romantic but if you think about films like wrong turn or something then it might be not that romantic anymore I love it I'm always making fun with Kathy, scaring her, but then look at this, it's like right on this river here. Hell yeah, that is nice. So, yeah, let's see where we get. getting. We reach our destination in 600 meters. Oh look, it's tons below, that's so sweet. Man, I'm so looking forward for that. It's like right in the woods and we're the only people there. Kathy, are you excited? You might be even a little more scared than excited. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh man, I think that is great. This would be like the best first camping spot you can hope for. Well, let's check that out. It's telling me I reached the goal. We müssen den fucking Waldweg nehmen. Das kein Problem. Machen wir. Komm. So it's the little river down there. I think we're pretty much right here. That would be so awesome. <laughs> I love that. Okay. 
Yeah, well, I'll have a better idea. Come find scene. Aha, okay. That was adventurous. Okay. Oh, ist das schön. Ja. Ein Traum. Hi, 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 my little droogies. We made it to Munich. We're already there. Back there is Kathy and her mother. And we are riding to the Lussee to have a nice swim. Yeah, so yesterday we drove from the camping grounds that I already showed you the video of, probably, um, to Munich, which was a very nice scenic road. But I didn't manage to vlog there because um, when we started at the campgrounds, it was like rainy and we had to wait in forever. And then the microphone started to, I didn't start, and then the microphone was um, really rainy and then the microphone got wet god damn it man so um, I was kind of stressed out I we kind of left in a hurry so I didn't set up all the camera stuff so yeah we didn't vlog that but I think there is still a lot more nice scenic roads to come so the whole area um, the Oberpfalz around Regensburg and across the Donau and all that, the Danube as it's called in English, that was really something. Very, very scenic, very nice, so beautiful and the ride was really nice. Um, the night before when we drove from, um, from Dresden to to uh, when we drove from Dresden to the Vogtland and down to that campground in the woods it was just a little exhausting because we're on the road for like seven hours and two people on a Vespa for seven hours that's way too long so we're gonna do like two to three hour rides from now on that's a lot more pleasant. Okay guys, um, I'm gonna show you the, the uh, lake where we're going to now because it's really nice and I keep riding the bike. And actually Kathy, that mean little bunny, she, her, her mom said like, oh, you have to wear a helmet, you have to wear a helmet. And I said, oh yes, Kathy, you have to wear a helmet. And then she said like, okay, Mo, you also have to wear a helmet. And this is what I'm looking now, like a total dork. I mean, I always look like a dork, but today I look especially like a dork. Alrighty, catch y'all later. Alrighty, fellas, Lucy in München Allach. Lusse in München Allach, very nice lake, very clear. I saw a pike swimming last time we were here. And yeah, so I'm gonna take the DGI Action 2 for the first dip now. That's a 
actually it's warm <laughs> it's really warm oh yeah uh, if you check out my instagram you see that i used to be very deep into watches i still like watches but i'm not like all about watches anymore however i have my legend diver with me that is like not only my daily beater but also my holiday watch and of course it's a diver so i take it swimming okay i just realized i forgot to take off my sunglasses <laughs> so i'm gonna take those away because i like to like snorkel and dive and I love to put my head underwater so yeah it's better to leave it there yeah you're gonna be impressed how clear that lake is A very nice swim at Lucy. Hoity doity guys. So, we are here at Inselmühle. To me, the nicest beer garden in, uh, well, I don't know the world. I mean, I haven't been to everyone, but, um, Inselmühle to me is the nicest. You will see in a minute why. Because you sit really, really nice. And they have like a little lake. And oh, it's busy tonight. And the beer is delicious. And well, I show you in a second why is this place is so friggin' nice. It took a while, but we got it. So this is what I love about Inselmühle. That beer is super fresh and super clean. I got a nice chicken salad here. This is where you get it from. And you sit here really nice. Kati's already eating. It's the one minute of the day where she's not hungry. <laughs> and I want to show you what's so nice about this place. Because you sit here, you chill and you dine. And you have like this lake here where there's fishes back there and they feed them and it's just so nice. So yeah, my favorite beer garden. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some drone shots on here. I didn't get too many nice shots this time but it'll work to finish off the second vlog properly. See you next time guys, bye bye!